in today's video. I will be showing you how to use virtual desktops in Windows 10. At the moment, I'm currently on my main desktop, which is going to be desktop one. If I want to open up another desktop area, which I can then open up other web browsers and file explorer, which won't affect this desktop, I can do that by holding down the Windows key and then pressing tab. I can then click on new desktop in the top left hand corner. As you can see, I now have two desktops. I can see what is currently open on each desktop. So on my main desktop, which is desktop one, I do have File Explorer open and I also have Firefox. If I now hold down the Windows key again and press tab and click on desktop two, I could open up the calculator. And then if I switch back to desktop one, you will then see that the calculator isn't open on desktop one, not even down in my taskbar but it will still be open in my desktop too. You can also decide what is shown when you go Alt and Tab. You can choose if you have all desktops show under Alt and Tab. You need to right click on the Start menu icon and then click on Settings. You then need to click on System. And we now need to click on Multitasking. And you then need to scroll down until you find Virtual Desktops. And you can then change these options here. As you can see, the first one is to show windows that are open on only the desktop I'm using, or if you want to show all desktops, you can select that option there. You can now see down in the taskbar, it's showing the calculator, which is actually open in desktop two. If I was to change the option below as well, which is for Alt and Tab to all desktops, if I now go Alt and Tab, you can see it shows the calculator as well, which is currently on my desktop two. But this kind of defeats the whole purpose, I find, of having different desktops. So I like to keep these two options on only the desktop I'm using. And now if I go ahead again and go Windows key and tab, I can switch back to desktop 2 and use my calculator if I want. Or I could go ahead and open up another desktop and have three desktops or four or five. If you do want to close down the desktops, then all you need to do is simply hover over the desktop and then click on the X. And that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.